Hi, advance happy new year to all. This is teacher Dennis once again and I have a rush explanation to do which my subscribers asked me a few months ago. So I have to do this before the fireworks starts and it will be all noisy and it will be new year and I have to celebrate as well. So this is very important to me. So this is uh, about how to record in a KP110 uh, keyboard. So let's get started. But before that, don't forget to subscribe my channel, Music Man Teacher Dennis. the keyboard and make sure that it's already already loaded uh, first thing to do is to go to the shift button and the record button because the record button is on the white strip which can be activated by pushing the shift button so it, you push the shift button first and the record button but first I have to choose my styles because I'm going to make a short song or a short musical instrumental just to make sure that you understand what I'm doing. So I'm going to first choose my style. I'm going to choose the upbeat here, uh, the dance uh, 105, like a techno beat. Oh, I'm sorry, 105. <laughs> 105, all right. So that's the techno beat. I'll just make sure that it's the one I'm looking for. That's the one. That's the one I'm looking for. Now, when you record in KP110, we have banks that can uh, be recorded with tracks. But the most basic thing to do first is to press Shift and the Record button. Uh, like, for example, like this. I'm going to press Shift first and then press the Record button. And the word Record User Song flashes there on the LED screen. So I'm going to press shift and the record button once again to go to recording standby mode. So that's the recording standby mode. You can see a flashing number there. One, two, three, four. And that's the recording standby mode. And you can also see here that there's a small, really small flash of like a bell form that tells us that we are going to record on melody number one. Okay, somebody singing now outside. Um, melody one. So, as I'm going to uh, press that one, I'm going to make sure that all my parameters are ready. So let's try making sure that I'm going to use my chordal or the auto accompaniment. I'm going to also use that one so the upbeat feel will be really there. So if you wish to know more about the auto accompaniment, uh, you can uh, watch my video, the earlier, the earlier videos that I made for that. So I'm going to make sure that I'm going to press shift and the accompaniment button here. You can see there are two bells there flashing but i don't want to really play melody one first i want to concentrate on the auto accompaniment only so i have to press melody one again so that bell disappears so i'm going to press shift and melody one and the bell of melody one disappears only the accompaniment bell or maybe an arrow is there blinking so I'm almost ready, but I have to make sure I press the chord button so that I can see an ABC kind of sign there on the screen, this sector of the screen. So see, ABC, that's what uh, assures me that if I'm going to play the recording, all the accompaniment style will be there. So um, finally, I have to do sync start so when i press my chord it will start recording so sync start and i want not to do the intro right away so i'm just gonna press 
this one first. So here we go. Now, as you noticed, my recorded song played right away, like it like loop. So that's the recorded song. Um, I, if I wish to, uh, I didn't really quite like what I recorded at first, so I'm going to delete that one. So to delete my recording, that and because I want to do something um, better, I'm going to press the shift button again and. Uh, record button and it shows again record user song and then I'm going to do it one more time shift and record button and then I see the flashing standby record um, signal there after that if I wish to delete what I have recorded a while ago I'm just going to one more time press shift and press the record button and a delete sign comes out and I wish to delete my recording because I did not uh, like it yet. <laughs> so I'm going to use the yes or no. If yes, this I'm going to press the, the up arrow. So that's the one, I already deleted it. And then I wish to just go back to my original plan to record again. So how does one try to go back to go from the very beginning to record? Same thing, shift button. And a little bit of quick release here. Okay, <laughs> no file, so it's already deleted. Now I'm going back to my recording mode. So I'm going to make sure I've got everything in order so that I won't make a mistake. So I'm going to do recording take two. So here we go. Same thing, shift and record, record user song, hit shift and record again. And uh, standby mode comes in, record standby mode. I'm almost there, but I have to do to prepare my accompaniment. So I'm going to press shift again and press accompaniment. And I see two markers flashing. So as I have said, I don't wish to do melody one. The melody one is the other one there on the bottom blinking. I'm going to Take that away so i'm going to press shift again and go m1 and i can only see the upper button of the accompaniment blinking so that means i only just have to use my left hand to make some music here so i'm going to press chord and abc comes out okay and then sync start so that when i press the chord um the recording will start and this one is the intro, so I want to also do that. So intro, and now I'm going to play. Okay, so that was a quick uh, song there, a short song. As I have said, after it has recorded, it will re it will replay it right away. So that's why I tried to stop the replay by pressing start and stop. I'm sure you noticed I pressed something and it became 
uh, some sort of a prelude to the ending. So that was the intro ending button. So if I wish to end my song dramatically in a nice way, I can press again what I pressed as the intro for my ending and hence it just made a very nice ending and the recording also stopped as the style also finished its ending. So we, let's try to listen to the replay if it was all there. I'm gonna press start stop and it will play. So I'm sure it's all is there, everything is there. So let's try to record another melody out of that, on top of that. So it will be enhanced. So let's try to do one more recording so that I can play some other instruments along with what I recorded at first. So we already have the accompaniment. I'm going to make use of the Melody 1 track so that I can choose another song or voice so that I can make it really, really um, interesting. So I'm going to do the same thing. Shift and the record. So the same thing again. One more time. Shift and record. And there's the... Um, Record standby button signal. So that one, we already have your accompaniment. So we have to choose what we're going to play on the melody one. So I'm going to choose on the voices. I pressed voices first before I try to manipulate the uh, numeric keypad. So I'm going to choose the... Um, the synthesizer so maybe the the one in three nine three okay i cannot press that right away because or maybe um, i'm not going to be tempted to press that because if i press that the recording will start so i'll just assume that's the sound i'm looking for so it's called effects rain right so let's try the recording. In this kind of thing, we don't have to do start, stop, seek, and everything because I already did the accompaniment. We just try, we just uh, use start, stop, and wait for the melody one's turn to play. So here we go. Okay, so replay right away. So let's see how it sounds. Did my recording really made it uh, a good arrangement? Let's see if Melody 1 really sounds.
Okay, in this song, I'm going to just use um, three tracks to make it short. And um, I'm sure you already get what I'm uh, doing and hope you can do your recording as well in your own KP110. So let's say we we add another track. We, we add melody number two. So we add melody number two, same thing. I'm going to do sh shift record, shift record, standby mode there. And now I'm going to make sure I'm going to press correctly melody number two to make it the third track. So we already have the two markers there, accompaniment, melody one. I'm going to do melody two. So I'm pressing shift and pressing melody two. Okay, so melody two is blinking. Actually, melody two is already selected automatically. As you can see a while ago, I pressed melody two and then it disappeared. So actually it was already there ready. So it's like lined up and already. Okay, melody two, I'm going to choose maybe a uh, brass section. So 210 perhaps, that would be 210. That's the trumpet, but uh, I need a whole section of, so I'm just scrolling up to get what I would like to use on the, the melody two track. This tuba, muted trumpet, uh, that's the solo instruments. So I'm just scrolling French horn, and now we have brass section. So I just have to um, imagine that that's the brass section I want because um, I did not really listen to it uh, ahead of time. No, so I'm sure it will be a good brass section sound. Okay, so I'm ready. I'm just going to hit start stop here and uh, press the brass section keys whenever I would like it to be. So here we go. Let's see if, uh, how it sounds now with the uh, three melodies. Is my brass track really going to sound? So let's see. Okay, da -da 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 -da, it's there. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna press start stop so it won't be looping again. Now, for example, you wish to delete track number three, um, like melody two, because you did not like where it was pressed. So, or maybe it was not really on time, as I have observed uh, what I did. <laughs> it was not really on the beat. So I wish to, re to uh, erase that one and uh, change it to uh, hopefully a better way, a better version of my brass section. So there are three tracks. You might erase the, the, the whole song. So what you do 
is to press again shift and record shift and record again as you can see the next shift and record thing would generate the um, standby mode so in that standby mode you are now going to look at the the three markers at the top i'm going to erase the the one with the, the third one not the flashing fourth one but the third marker that's melody two so i'm going to use my shift and melody two okay okay uh, so i'm going to go back the melody melody two will be um uh, flashing and make sure that melodies accompaniment and uh, melody one are not there because i only wish to erase melody two or track number three okay so let's do shift and delete so let's delete that and make it a memory bank there now okay so let's try again oops okay well that's all right i'm going to uh not say, say no and let's see if our brass section will be i'm going to um stop the okay so the record okay so this is the record song zero one without my third track let's see if there's a ta-da ta -da, is still there <laughs> because I erased already the third track. Okay, so so that's it for recording. That's a simple manipulation that I did there for a a song or a uh, instrumental. Now I have to admit, you really have to uh, spend time with the shift and the record button sometimes especially if you want to do the delete part or deleting something because in the delete part um, after deleting you should um, like just flick only the record button for after you have deleted something so so that it will return to uh, assert to the, the beginning you know what I mean it you have to be careful with the shift and hold when you shift hold for recording at first it's just a normal thing shift and the record that's it and then for the standby mode shift and record and then if you wish to play already um okay so everybody's very happy now so uh, it's almost new year so happy new year everyone now i'm going to redo my brass um part so it will be much better so i can see it's blinking so it's already there and brass it says brass there so i'm sure that my sound will be brass okay let's try again Okay, uh, in this case, since there's a uh, accompaniment going, uh, it automatically ends. But if you were not using something like an accompaniment, then it won't really end automatically. You have to you have to manipulate shift and uh, record button again. Okay, so 
that's it for this piece. I'm going to demonstrate another one that doesn't need any accompaniment. Let's do that in a second, all right? So let's record a song without using auto accompaniment or styles. So it's just purely piano solo. And then maybe we can add a string track and a little bit of other voices to make it appealing. So in here we have the recorded song a while ago on Bank 161. You can actually record 10 songs here in KP110. So let's see if it's really 10. So that's 161 already. So if I'm going to turn that clockwise, it will be 162. So that's the second bank. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 um, banks with no, that you can record your songs. So it's there's no file inside. 161, however, we already had the rec recorded song number one. So I'm going to turn to 162 and uh, record my track there. Or put my file there. So I'm going to start now. Same thing, shift, re shift, record, shift, record for the um, standby record to flash. Now, I can use the metronome to help me with my beat, so I will be steady. So as I can see, the tempo there is 130 at right now so i'm going to use the tempo up and down buttons to lower it i want to lower uh, i'm going to use the down button to lower the tempo so maybe i just wanted a 100 beat kind of tempo 100 beats per minute like that so i can use the metronome uh, metronome is uh the one that helps us to be on the time or beat so let's try that. Okay, and as soon as I press the keys here, the recording will start. So. So I stop the recording now and it's replaying. So notice how I made a mistake there. I should have moved to this key to make a nicer uh, left hand part. So I'm going to delete it and then record again. Make sure that I hit the correct notes. <laughs> Um, by the way, I was just making that up, so I guess I already know where I'm going to be playing right now if, if I re-record. So, I'm not, gonna, um, not going to discuss that, just going to, re to do the deleting right away, so that uh, we're going to be starting again. So, metronome. Let's see how it works. Ah, oh, how very romantic. Okay, very good. Teacher Dennis, you made a short song of that one. All right, so Next thing to do is to put some strings on it to make it even more romantic. So let's choose string here. Uh, make sure I have a string sound. But first I'm going to... So by the way, that was recorded here as I can see in melody number one. So we're going to use melody number two for our string part, the string track. So shift, 
I record standby recording and then shift again and melody 2 oh where's melody 2 okay melody 2 is flashing and uh, but before that I have to find a, a, a nice voice for melody 2 and that's the string strings and orchestral bank of KP110 uh, but I know that 166 is violin I have to find a string section kind of thing so that's violin violin 2 viola cello contrabass tremolo piccicato orchestra orchestral harp oh, that's not the one i'm looking for orchestral harp number two young chin well, timpani so um not finding a little bit of the string okay a string ensemble here we go string ensembles so 185 so that's what i'm going to to uh shall we say uh add to the song so recorded recording is already on standby as soon as i press the the start button recording will be there That's it. Okay, so let's start right. I think I think uh, there were some parts that were not um layered with the string so let's see i let's say i'm going to uh re like delete the melody to to make a better version so i'm going to uh as i have done a while ago uh go to the record record um standby and then get rid of melody one Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of melody one so that melody one marker disappears and I'm going to get rid of melody three as well because it's blinking now it's only melody two that's left I'm going to um, press again the shift and record for the delete uh, function there and now it's only melody two that will be deleted Okay, so now I'm going to go back to our recording piece. Okay, so we don't hear the string anymore. Okay, I'm going to re-record the string so it will sound nice. Okay, so make sure this is a string now. Oops, so that's not yet, but I'm going to record anyway. That's the string ensemble. So I'm sure it will be the one that will be playing. Okay, doki. So one, two, three, four. Let me get some tissue first. <laughs> that sounded really nice. So I hope you learned a lot from my demos and how I did some songs and hope you can record really really nice songs yourselves 
Thank you so much. So that's it for our recording activity on the KP110. Um, I hope you learned something from it and do the recording yourself in your own keyboard. For those who are new to my channel, I am Music Man Teacher Dennis. I am a music teacher and a professional musician at the same time. And I keep myself busy by fiddling around with keyboards, guitars, and all sorts of musical instruments. And try to check on my videos, or my previous videos, and you can also learn from other Kurzweil series that I also demonstrated. So thank you for all your questions and comments uh, on the year 2020. I'll do my best to answer every single one of them this year. So this is Music Man, Teacher Dennis, saying don't forget to subscribe my channel, Music Man, Teacher Dennis, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated on my new videos. Thank you and Happy New Year.